What's going on, people? Chuck's here with Ams, Cool, and Andan. What's up? Yep, the multi uh, tap gaming crew are here. Um, CJ's not with us today, but he's going to be in the next one. We're here just to talk about uh, basically our podcast for the week. We're going to get straight into it. Make sure you like and um, subscribe if you enjoy the podcast, just to get that out of the way. But this t- this one. This episode is basically going to be kind of um, one topical, to be complete, completely honest. We can't ignore what's going on um, and the current climate. Uh, climate. And as you may know or may, or may not know, all of us on this actual podcast are actually uh, of African and black descent. Sorry, I, I forgot. I was thinking, you know, actually, African. Well, you are African. Come on, man. The, the, claim it. Claim it. You're, I'm, I'm African, yeah. So, African <laughs> so, like Yeah, so we're basically going to be speaking about um, that climate. And uh, it's not going to be... It's gonna, We're just going to let it flow. We're not going to try and, like, uh, make things perfect or anything like that. This one's not something that we we feel like we need to do that, uh, that with so um but we are still going to talk about gaming and transition to both subjects but yeah let's just move into the first subject really and truly uh sony well we all know what happened with george george floyd and it's just brought the subject into what we're basically focusing on which is maybe some racism in gaming so uh, a lot of gaming companies have actually come out in support of the Black uh, Black Lives Matter movement. Um, mm-hmm. People like PlayStation, well, Sony, not just PlayStation, but Microsoft, EA, Naughty Dog, Activision, they've all come out and have actually donated quite, quite a few million across all companies. And, uh, yeah, they just... Uh, I'll just... Bring it on to you guys. What are your thoughts on that? Did all of them donate? Um, I think no. Actually, I don't think all of them did. I don't think EA did. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, but and that's I know the price. PlayStation did. Sony donated a million, a million towards the cause. Um, which is it's a lot of money. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. Um, so yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts, guys? Well, first of all, I think it's good that some of them are putting their money where their mouth is at the moment. Um, my only issue is not just with gaming companies, but with a lot of companies at the moment. Um, because the Black Lives Matter movement is so loud at the moment, they feel that they have to be seen in the public eye doing something. And it's all well and good donating money or tweeting out something at the moment. But come next month, when um, the protests died down and stuff like that, are they still going to be riding for the Black Lives Matter movement? Or is it just business as usual and we just go back to how things were the past however many years kind of thing? So that's my main issue with them, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And Holmes? Yeah, I'm pretty much going to parrot what Anand said. I agree with everything he said. Other than he said... Come next month, I think it might even be come next week. Okay, Once it dies down, <laughs> they go back to Pride. This is Pride month now. Um, mm. I think a lot of people have already forgotten about what's happened. Yeah. And I think an industry like the gaming industry has a lot of problems. We need this from the companies to come out and show, yeah, we don't agree with what's going on. Mm. And we want to support this community. That's I think, cool. yeah, it's important. That's fair. Um, I I kind of I can't lie. Uh, when Sony came out and said that they're postponing their reveal for the conference that they they basically having to reveal a lot a few games, mm. I actually just initially thought, and I I can't lie. Maybe it's just really negative from me, but I just thought you're only really doing it just because you feel like the eyes won't be on you. I don't feel yeah. like you actually care. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I know, like I'm sure there are people that are heartfelt about what has actually happened that actually work for the company, and that probably is the catalyst that caused them to 
um, donate and to actually say no we need to focus i'm sure there are people that actually feel that way but i think <laughs> the more the majority of the percentage was just okay we need to make sure that the eyes are focused on us but yeah um so yeah they, as i just said and that may be news to a few people what that is but playstation were planning on um having their conference this thursday actually well last week thursday actually um to showcase their games that are coming to the ps5 they're actually doing it this thursday now instead which is like okay fair enough you wait a week but that's fine um <laughs> yeah. um but oh, yeah the, yeah the, they they've denoted a million as i said and um yeah that's microsoft have also done the same thing i don't know if they donated but they were there in support um ea have put on like this a few of their games like nfl and i think um fifa also did something just recently basically saying that they're in support of the black lives matter movement um neil Druckmann donated a thousand and playstation went and matched that afterwards i think yeah. that may have been his personal money i'm assuming maybe maybe not um yeah. and activision have actually made their loading screen for call of duty uh, like a, we support um, the Black Lives Matter movement, and we are, we are against racism altogether. So, um, just tell their players that. Yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> what something that I've actually seen quite a lot happening is just a few gaming websites like IGN, Gamespot. They've also been in support, and yeah. um, what's really I don't know if I, I'm shocked. Oh, I should be shocked, but there's just so many. To put it simply, there's just a lot of racism <laughs> that I didn't, I didn't think you weren't aware like, of. Yeah, like I actually, yeah. like uh, I guess, but it's easier when you're behind a keyboard or behind a phone, like you, you're anonymous. But like, yeah. um, like when websites like Gamespot are doing a stream. Or they, uh, Gamespot did. I think they did a, sh- a whole hour stream, or two hours, uh, when it really was um, out there and really, yeah. yeah, they just put out a whole stream just saying we we are against racism and we support the Black Lives Matter movement. And that was just yeah. a, a screenshot of just that for like two hours. Yeah. I think that yeah. um, that live stream had like doubled the amount of th- dislikes it's and, nice. yeah. and the likes on the video so it was just like wow man what what is this is this just the gaming community is this mm. I, is I don't a... think it's, it's just racism as well i think um especially for some people if you've never experienced um some form of racism or anything like that you probably don't understand where black people or other bame people are coming from so you just think that you're just making up stuff. Racism ended during the slave trade. Like as soon as the slave trade was done, racism was finished, kind of thing. So mm-hmm. that's why when a company like PlayStation cancels their PS5 reveal, it just makes them even more angry at black people because they're they're thinking, okay, yeah, someone died, but it happens in it kind of thing. But they don't, yeah, they, they don't really equate it to the fact that it happens every day. Yeah. which is the main problem. Um, if it was an isolated incident, it's still not right, but it's an isolated incident. Hopefully like, we learn from our mistakes and it don't happen again. But this happens every day. So like, that's the main uh, issue. I, 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 this is the thing. Like I, I, to piggyback off of that, I just feel like because we're black people, we follow black people like Instagram, Twitter, all of these things we we know what happens in our community and like, we know that that is something that is actually very 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 like everybody in our community is very aware that that is happening yep uh, across the world not even just where, where it actually yeah. happens so it's just like um it may like when i see people speak about it like i know this isn't really gaming related but like when i see footballers talk about it and they're just speaking about everything that they say is basically something that i already i'm just like yeah that's that's just normal to us 
Like, we, yeah. this is what we experience. Mm. And I'm just thinking, like, do other people are other people aware that this is what we go through? And like, like, is it is it just like us where we it's almost yeah. become like normal for us where it's like yeah yeah that's that's something that happens like it's not it's not a big deal now but it's like I feel like if it happened to other people they'll be like what 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 the hell is this do you know yeah. what I mean like this shouldn't be happening this isn't right but yeah I I, yeah, I, 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 I think you've hit the nail on the head um, by saying that it's it's almost normal for us because this shouldn't be normal for us. Let little stuff like um, crossing somebody, crossing yeah, the road. Crossing, crossing over the road or or stuff like that because Touching your hand, man. yeah, do you know what I mean? Because um, you're aware of what other people might might think. Little stuff like racial profiling or whatever. Um, just, just to lighten the mood a little bit, a funny story that I have when that happened to me because uh, it's obviously happened to me quite a few times, <laughs> and just to, <laughs> just in case because. Obviously, you may not have seen my face yet for any viewers that um, are watching. I'm not a very big guy. I'm not a threatening guy. I'm, but I'm actually quite a pussy. So, like, I'm, like, five foot nine. I weigh, like, 170 pounds or, or like, do you know what I mean? I'm, yeah. like, nine, nine to ten stone. I'm not very a big guy or anything like that. When that kind of thing happens to me, <laughs> one time, um, that actually happened and just to just for just for, just for last so i basically crossed the road again because they <laughs> they crossed the road and i met them on the other side <laughs> and just um when yeah so like when when that happened now we've eventually got to the point where i can see their face if you know what i mean but i'm not like looking i'm not looking directly at their face but I can see their face, do you know what I mean? So you you widen your eyes to the point where you can see what they're doing. Yeah. And like the person, the woman's basically just, um, she's like walking normally, <laughs> but then as she gets closer, she slows down and like oh turns God. to see what I'm going to do. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> to the point where she's come to a complete stop and she's just watching me walk past and I'm just like, oh, fuck, you know, this is hilarious, bro. Like, I'm not going to do anything to you. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, we're just walking. You know, yeah, That's like, it. We're, just, we're just normal people. Like, we actually have mothers to go to, sisters to go home to, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. It's fear, know. but the fear isn't based in reality. Like, it's not based in experience. They're scared of something that's never happened. It yeah, it's so sense. irrational. Yeah. Yeah, I, so. I find it also going back to the gaming. I find it hard to give them the benefit of the doubt of them just being ignorant. I think a lot of them feign ignorance because yeah. the same ones who who say, "Oh, racism is over. I don't know why these companies are doing this," are the same people who go back to their friends and make racist jokes and then call people the n word over the mic yeah, when they're yeah. playing a the game. So yeah, I just I find it hard to be like, "Yeah, and let's just give them a bit of rope." Yeah. yeah. But, well, that's the problem. Just right now, it's almost like you need to be seen doing something towards the Black Lives Matter movement. Otherwise, um, you'll become unpopular in some sort of way. Some sort of way in it. So, uh, for me, I- I'd rather you just say what you actually think in it. If you don't like black people, or Asian people, whatever, but you you say that in it. I-, I don't want you faking it and pretending as if you actually care about them and blah 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 when you actually don't care. So yeah. but that's just me anyway, and at least I know where I stand with you. If yeah, if you don't like me because of the colour of my skin, then where at least I know where I am in it. So yeah. there's a lot so, of yeah. pressure right now, right? And when racist NFL came out and said, Yeah, we were wrong. You don't believe you're wrong. <laughs> I'll never I will never play your games, I'll never watch your games. Good to hell, man. But um yeah, like uh what how do we feel just to keep it on on um Gaming. gaming yeah. How do we feel about racism and gaming? Is there uh, is it worse than anywhere else? Is it better than anywhere else? It's, do you, do we I feel think... do we feel like we're represented or like minorities? Not even just black people, but minorities. Do you think we're represented well? I think a lot of the pop cultures have a problem with racism, from comics to gaming to all these subcultures where. People feel like it's theirs. So early on, they were the face of it. And now it's been 
now it's been taken on by a lot of people that they don't like it. Yeah. So that the the face of gaming before was white guys with same with comics to be fair, white guys with spots, glasses, the nerd, typical nerd. It, that wasn't who it was, but that was the face of it. Now you have all these new people coming in. They kind of feel like, well, why should we have to accommodate them? I think. Huh. Also, also, I think they don't recognize this stuff. So, like, they see themselves represented in everyday life all the time. Yeah. So when you change that norm for them, they're like, why are you doing this to me? They feel hard done by because they're used to it being them. Yeah. And I think that's their problem with it. It's hard for them to see our side when it's always been them. Yeah. And then, your thoughts? Mm. Yeah, I agree as well. I mean, um, even little things like, well, this is taking a bit away from racism, but um, having a woman as a lead character in a game. And I remember when a, a lot of women were beginning to become lead characters, but some people were outraged um, having to use a woman for, for, for an actual game. And it's almost the same as having to use a black person as a main character as well. So um, there are so few games nowadays that you see black people actually as the main character. Um, normally, it's just yeah. No, normally, it's normally it's, the white it's, male. It's yeah. usually it's usually when we get represented or yeah. other minorities get represented. It's this the ones mm. where you can create your own character. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> but no. yeah, sorry, go on, continue. It, it, but it, it's true. Um, if if we are in the game, you're either a peripheral character. Um, you may you may be doing something big in the game, but you're not actually the one that the story is about, kind of thing in it. Mm-hmm. Um, and the only ones yeah. where your default to a black person, the only one I know of is NBA. And people get <laughs> upset about that. I remember watching videos where the people were like, "Oh, why is my sister black?" Wow. <laughs> That was their bad, but but they only had one character. So you're going to change that character just because you change the color of your player. Mm-hmm. People have had to deal with that this whole time. Is you get to deal with it for one game. Yeah. And a game that's predominantly that yeah. race, you know what I mean? But um, no, I, I understand. I, 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 I agree with everything that, you, well, most of what you're saying. And yeah. I feel like, I don't know, it's got to the point where I hear you. We've got games like Mafia Three where the the character is black. Yep. Yeah. Half black, half Mexican. Well, Mexican, he's, you know. I consider mixed race to be black. To be honest with you, I, I, I can't lie. Mm. Like if we mix um, chocolate with with milk, it's not good. <laughs> not good with milk. <laughs> not good with it. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know, I have different opinions. But... That's fair. That's fair. But um, yeah, I. We have those those stories and stuff like that, but at the same time, when is it gonna be when we're just like you you have that narrative and that is the character, the main character, oh. because it's about that narrative. Like, do you know what I mean? It's about the racism, it's about all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But when is it gonna become about Normalized just yeah, thing. just just we have a good story? That has isn't about that race, and it's just oh, a good character. yeah. He's just a black yeah. character in a good game, not a, a a good game about this statement and this not agenda, but you know what I mean. Like uh, yeah, like wh- how many how many can you call on your hand where that's just where that's just the case? Like it's, it's, it's to... very few, and to be honest, this is down to the developers. At the end of the day, I don't know if they feel. Or whether it's an actual stat that if you have a black male character or black, um, to be fair, it's, it's happening. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you, but it's happening yeah. with like women right now. I can't, I can't yeah. lie. It's happening with mm. women where it's just about a good game and it's not yeah. about that stuff. But you're gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know if having a black protagonist will affect their sales because maybe some people may refuse to play the game because they have to use a black person. So they would much rather use a white male or white female. Mm-hmm. Or or an Asian, an East Asian female or male, um, than actually use a black male or female. 
Yeah, because, that's... yeah there are so few games where the main character is black. Mm. Well, it makes few. sense because game developers are predominantly white and Asian. Mm. Uh, I guess it's kind of like when we start a game but it's even and we're allowed to create someone, we, use, we try to create them to look like us so they will be black. I guess when they're writing it, it might be the same thing. Um, but it, it really and truly, what some Japanese even developers are even building games where the main characters are yeah, it's white, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's a white male. But I um, think that's a deep, deeper rooted problem now when they do that. It's not really. It's 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 making a creating a game and targeting your audience. Like they know, oh yeah, Americans and Europeans are them their main market yep. and they know okay we know that m- um, the majority of those countries and those um, places are white males that are going to buy our game so yeah. it makes sense but i don't know i just i'm waiting for that that game i where... think it's i think hollywood's hit a place where it's more common to see people of ethnic minority and and that's because one they do auditions and two, there's superstars that can go in those roles. So if you see a f- film with The Rock, people are going to be like, oh, The Rock, he's black. They're going to be like, oh, The Rock's a superstar. I want to see this. Yeah. I think as it goes forward, maybe they need to do more auditions. They need to create a character with no color in mind, audition yeah. people, and whoever does the best voice acting and motion capture or what they conceive as motion capture, maybe that person goes forward and they build the character model around that. Mm. And maybe that'll be the best way to do it. Or they start getting the superstars. So like the the superstars of voice acting, Nolan North, um what's the other guy? Troy Baker. Yeah. Uh, two white males. And they play everyone. Yeah. Maybe we need more people in there. And maybe it does maybe not just gaming actors. Maybe also they make a character and say, What Hollywood superstar do I have in mind to play this? Mm. And that might help them get more people of Afri- ethnic minorities in to play these roles. Um, move it, well, yeah, sticking on that, let's uh, let's talk about the black leads that we have in gaming right now. So we have a a, a list here, a few a few names, um, popular ones that mm, a lot of the people that um listen or uh play games may actually know but i feel like there's only one on here that no actually maybe two no i think there's two maybe three no there's three (laughs) (laughs) there's three that i would say are just the character in a game they're not a character in a game about this time or this subject or something like that so uh there's CJ in San Andreas, for example. Oh. Um, Franklin in GTA Five, who I would say is one of the three that I was talking about. Oh, um, a yeah, so by oh, no, he, I feel like he was a he was he was a sub character, but he was a main character. He was on the front of the game, so he yeah. was a they just threw us a bandit because <laughs> really, if they had just made it three white guys, people would have been like, "What's going on?" Mm, yeah. uh, people are still buying GTA regardless. Yeah, yeah. But they didn't want the this is for him a bone and give him a black character. Who's um, basically just another guy from the hood. But yeah, um Bayek in San um Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Origins. Oh, sorry. Origins, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Origins, which is another character just lo- for the location and timing. Uh Lincoln in Mafia Free. Location yeah. and time, and Marcus in Watch Dogs Two, which is one of the, um, the second one I was talking about, yeah. and Isaiah, uh, Isaiah or is Isaiah, Isaiah, whichever way you want to say Jackson. it. Uh, so Terry Crews in Crackdown Three, and that's yep. probably I would say the third. Uh, but yeah, well, I'd say I'm Marcus actually... is in there from Watch Dogs Two because he basically subverted all expectation of. Like they wasn't the stereotypical black guy they had been. He yeah, just had a yeah, he yeah, could have yeah. been any color. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, like, that's what I was saying. That like... He's 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 one of the three. So I'd okay, say yeah. I'd say um 
Franklin, Marcus, and Isaiah are the three that we have here. But are there, are there any more that you guys can think of that were predominant? Could have been like, any color. Or minority, not even just my um. Black the guy from in games that went for the time of and location. What's that superhero game where you played that monster basically? Oh, I know which one you're talking about, but I really can't remember what it's called. Superhero game where you played that like monster. If, it's in. Yeah. It was. On, it came out on PS3 originally. Yeah. Oh, um, prototype. That's it. That's prototype. it. Yeah. Prototype. He was just a normal guy, I, from what I remember. I actually so I never color. played the game, but yeah, that, that that probably was another one. Um, any Kratos is basically black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, I'm not even lying. <laughs> yeah, with pale white true. skin, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was the ashes of his family. Yeah. That's yeah. what I see. He's basically black. black. Like they can't imagine. Mm. No, nah, I can't see them. Imagine um the next God of War trilogy or whatever. They tried to. No, nah, they can't cast anyone else except the black person. Yeah, yeah. Especially because mm. of the voice. Like the white white mm. voice has become almost iconic. Yeah. Now. Yeah. So um I can't think of any others though. There was uh, the woman from Uncharted and yeah, the, so. the DLC, but she wasn't played by Which is one. fucking uh, sorry to swear. Oh. <laughs> but <laughs> do you know what? That to be honest with you, yeah, I can't lie, that is the the part that I'm just like I can't believe that. Like when I actually oh. found out that, that was the case, I was like, I can't believe Why? you can't yeah. even get a black woman to play a black woman in a video yeah. game, bro. Like that is, mm. ha, like I, I <laughs> that hurts my heart. That hurts my heart. Like you, you it's actually, yeah, it's it's messed up. Like ah, uh, like no, some... it's, it's gone on for so long where a white person has played a role that is literally made for a black person, but. Yeah, it's happened in movies, it's happened in games, and it's only now they're trying to change it kind of thing in it, but it's it's been going on for too long mm. and it's still going on. That's what gets on my nerves. <sighs> to be fair, so that, no, <clears throat> that, that one gets that that one gets my heart, I can't lie. Like uh, that yeah. that the other ones I'm just like, okay, fair enough. That one Come on, man! You do better. Oh, yeah, do that's better. Cool that is, you could do so much better, mm. and you just didn't. Like that's that's just this madness. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I can't I can't really think of any. That's, that seems to be the role of black people in gaming. You'll be a support character because yeah. I can name a lot of support characters that are black, mm. like Horizon Zero Dawn. You have the guy who helps you. Yeah, right. in even Final in Fantasy VR. 7. Yeah, Blood and yeah. what's Blood and Truth the VR game? There's a black guy in that. That's on your yeah. side. Mm. It's just we're always the support guys. So. But what? Okay, yeah. I, I I know we're all black and, and stuff like that. But what other, what what about other minorities? Do you feel like are there any like yeah. Latino or Asian characters that we feel aren't based just on the time and environment? Latino is underrepresented. I think. But, yeah. But but the most uh, I can't even know. But I, mm. I only know Caesar from. Um, San Andres. Wow. And he's a side side <laughs> character. <laughs> oh, and the girlfriend. Both in San Andres. Oh, yeah. Catalina. Actually, Super side, yeah. Like, I, okay. Do you know what? Try and think of, I'm sure some of you, um, both of you have played at least one. Try and think of like a, a Latino character from in Final Fantasy, in a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, I've actually tried to think. There's been I'm one black guy in the whole series. That's just why they no, went. No, no, there's two, there's two. There's actually two. There's oh two. my God. That's just why they went. That's just why they went. Like, there, there, was one in Final, there was one in Final Fantasy 15, and there was one in, um, what's the other one called? Yeah, seven. So there's two, two black guys. I don't think there's a black woman. I'm trying to think of a black no. woman. No black woman. Uh, Maybe Biggs was Hispanic? Biggs. Who's Biggs again? From Seven. Biggs. Red Headband. I think that's Biggs. No, yeah. I think, oh, maybe, you know. He might be Latino, you know. <laughs> that actually might be the first one. <laughs> like a Aye, that's, a, that's a good, that's a good shout. Oi. Representation. That way. They're usually wow. bad guys, to be fair. If you're Latino, you're gonna be the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, I can't think of many. Oh, actually, even in Red Dead, all the Latinos and Mexicans are bad guys. 
Like you've got um, Rico Rodriguez. Oh yeah, that's a great one. Oh, from um, what's it? Um, Just Cause. Just Cause, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Love that game. That's yeah. a good shout. He was just the. He got a whole series as well. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, and um, Tom from Gears of War is um Hispanic as well. Mm. He's not really the Asian. He's not really the think... main character though, but. But yeah, yeah like, Asians have their own characters when they got the chance. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, Asia... all, it's all based in area, isn't it? So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Ghost, Ghost of Tsushima is like yeah. literally, yeah. it's made by an American studio, but the only reason they've made it like that is because it's in that that time and that that location. Yeah. But but then you have Neo that's got a uh, white male as a samurai. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's yeah. true. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, yeah, it's I, think, I, think, I think they're so represented in gaming, they don't need the character that's not the stereotype. Also, they're making a lot of those games. That's true, you know. That's actually nuts. Now do you, now do you actually think I say it? Ne- the, the guy in Neo who's <laughs> that's actually nuts like <laughs> oh my days it's yeah, nuts but, but like, I want to say this as well we're not like some anyway <laughs> we're not some <laughs> hating people like <laughs> we don't, we're just, just like, yeah it's just it's just it's just a bit a lot do you know what I mean so where you get high representation of ethnic minorities is sports games. That's it. Yes, yeah. true. Your UFCs, your NBAs, your FIFAs, that's our only. And that's because it's actually based on real people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're athletic. Yeah, you mm-hmm. can represent ourselves in games. But it's funny, though. I do remember, like, um, Pro Evolution 2 and stuff like that. And a lot of the black character models were literally the same same yeah, thing back in the day. Mm-hmm. That's it. Bricks yeah, there was travel. hardly anything to differentiate them from apart mm-hmm. from maybe height. Oh, do you Even know what? I just, I just remembered. Oh. Sorry, I know to change the subject. There's one more. There's actually an Asian woman that I just remembered from Mirror's Edge. Boom. Oh, oh yes. yes. And so, Resident I'm, Evil. That's true. That's true. Wait, which one? Which Resident Evil? Um, I can't remember her name, but in Resident oh, Evil... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, um, Resident in, Evil 5, I believe. Oh, yeah, in Resident in Evil 2, you got Carlos in Resident Evil 2 as well. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. true. Which is funny because this has been a, a mission for us to find these names. But I'm <laughs> looking at my game collection and I'm seeing 90% of the games have white males in them. So mm-hmm. that's the problem. If we had the list of white males, it wouldn't, wouldn't be a very long... To get a yeah. hundred, maybe. Yeah. It's nuts, man. Ah. But yeah, um I I what <laughs> the most iconic white the gaming character ever is a white plumber from Italy. <laughs> so that's, <true. laughs> that's actually true. But I, I don't know, but yeah, um what what do we feel can happen? That will change this, maybe, or possibly. Um, I think it's a lot of it is down to the video game developers now because, um, in terms of like films and stuff like that, it's been highlighted with like the Oscar so white controversy and all of that kind of stuff. Mm. And um, it's down to the, the developers to actually now try to put more um, ethnic minorities into their games, into leading roles, to be honest, because they must know that they're very underrepresented at the moment in that, um, like I said, they've already started um, adding more uh, female um, main characters and protagonists. It's now time to (laughs) start adding ethnic minorities as well, and I don't think it should be that hard, to be honest. And when you do add them as well, they shouldn't just be... Uh, fulfilling a stereotype they should actually be doing um the same things that you would expect um a normal white male protagonist to be doing as well yeah so um it's it's down to the developers there's yeah because as much as we want to speak about it or whatever if the developers say we're going to create this game and it's going to be a white male whether you like it or not (laughs) there's not really anything we can do yeah to be fair yeah Ams, 
thoughts? Um, well, I think one of the things that we can do is trying to put ourselves there. Being a group of black men, when we started this, part of it was because we didn't see ourselves in this industry. Yeah. And I think if more people put themselves out there, it's going to be troubling, not troubling. It's going to be difficult because sometimes you won't be accepted in. I think that's all you really can do at the moment, unless there's someone else who's going to come forward and help with it. That's all you really can do. Mm. I um, I I feel like it probably will get to a point where we will see a bit more representation. If anything comes from like people like Neil Druckmann and not to spoil it but what what is gonna come in the next 10 days in the game that he's about to release to you guys and you're gonna see what happens but yeah like there there's gonna be a lot more it's gonna basically open the floodgates and it's gonna i can only hope that it does anyway where it's like okay we don't need to just stick to this we can actually do what we want or maybe i don't know if I, how can i put this because the the people that are actually developing as you said and then they're probably mm. the people that are making that decision so maybe that is what they want to do where they put just the white male as the main character but we're gonna hopefully see maybe a change in that shift or maybe maybe <laughs> maybe we can get to a point where and i doubt this will happen but they'll run out of stories to tell and from that angle they'll say okay it's about time we made me look look outside you know what i mean but um i don't know and like i i i can't if i'm being completely honest bringing this almost back to what we were saying at the beginning i just see things going back to the way they were in about a year or two where it's just going to be the same the same stuff and yeah. yeah nothing's really gonna change both in society and in gaming so yeah um yeah yeah i uh well it, it keeps up i think it's a thing of it's going to keep happening and every time it's going to get bigger so eventually it's going to be so big that you can't ignore it someone has to do something so it never happens again mm. and do we really want it to get that big because that could be a big problem for everyone can I can I ask a question? I know again this isn't really about race, uh, but how do you guys feel? Just to get like a gauge and like maybe just not make this just all about how we feel and maybe open it yeah. up to how other people also in our situation, aka minorities, other minorities, like um I'm not just talking about uh, Asian or Latino or stuff like that. I'm talking about even just like uh, gay people or like mm. you know what I mean. So how yep. how 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 do you feel about that? Like being represented in gaming and other others. Do you feel like they feel the same way? Do you think? Yeah, just I'm just gonna throw that question at you. In in terms of gaming, before. I would quit before and then goes. In terms of gaming, I think um, the LGBTQ plus community are in a very similar boat to us. Like mm. when there is a gay character, I think there's a similar reaction. Like that's not me. I don't want to play that. Yeah. And I think the problem is that doesn't just come from the community who has that reaction when they're playing as a black character. That also comes from the community that wants to play as a black character, and I think that's a problem. But, I don't know. I think it's the same. Like like you said with Neil Druckmann, if we have more people like him going into the industry, it will change. Yeah. Um, also, it's just life. I think as it changes in the real world, it's hard to ignore your surroundings. A lot of people, when they write these games, their surroundings are just straight white people so that's what mm. they write whereas if you're surrounded change you see more black people you see more gay people you see more 
women in different positions, you're going to be like, oh, let me include these characters because okay. it makes sense in my real world. <clears throat> okay, fair enough. Um, and up, or did you? Just... Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I think that's the main thing. Um, you need more progressive thinkers um, if you want anything to change, really. Um, racism is deep rooted in society, and um, a lot of hate for things that people think are different, but really and truly should be regarded as normal and should have been regarded as normal for a long, long time. But there's just certain stigmas around certain things. So um, once society begins accepting the fact that, yeah, there are people part of the LGBT community, um, there are ethnic minorities in high positions and stuff like that and doing big things each and every day, then they will most likely start adding them into the games. But um, with the LGBT community, I think now they are slowly um, coming into games now. Um, yeah. But it's just that it's not widespread. And I, it, it, it's so funny because um, gamers tend to, the stereotypical gamers and male and blah, 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 and all that, that kind of stuff. The only other time that you see someone from the LGBT community will most likely be a lesbian because yeah. they just assume that obviously there's a woman, the male will be attracted to the lesbian, blah, 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 and all of that kind of stuff. But to control a gay male, that's it's, it's very, very unlikely. I mean, probably only what the ballad of gay Tony that I can think of, really. Like, I don't, you I don't even know. Just, yeah. yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, um, obviously, in The Last of Us. Um, you have um, well, obviously Ellie is a lesbian, but um, you have that guy with the name Bill or something like that. That um, yeah. oh, like yeah, the way yeah, yeah. The, yeah, when they drop it, mm. the way they dropped it was mad as well. Yeah. Um, that he was gay in it, but but yeah, like so many people start like, oh, I don't want to so like, where's this man? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's usually RPGs in it that like, yeah. and I yeah. think cyberpunk's coming to just blow that all out of the water because. They're gonna hopefully vote trans people, they're gonna vote gay, lesbian, black, white. Asian. To be fair, that was a big deal. Mm. It was a big deal, as in like negative press about that stuff as well. Mm. It's just like, bro, who gives a crap, man? But I, like, like, this is gonna sound like the most pandering thing in the world, but like, uh, and it's gonna sound like the, mo- the most, uh, oh, my, f- my friends are black, so I can't be, <laughs> I can't be racist. But like, <laughs> Like two of my favorite, two of my favorite movies are actually like gay movies, and mm. the, yeah. So it's like, um, well, let me just name them. So Moonlight is one of them, and I don't know if you've heard of that, but yeah, 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 yeah. Two black guys, yeah. yeah the, um, and my second one is uh, a portrait of a lady on fire. I doubt very highly yeah. any of yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, mm. it's a French movie, but yeah, um. Yeah, it's just like I, I, as you spoke about the real predominant one that we know mm. that that is the case is like Ellie, and mm-hmm. in The Last of Us, and it's like there's so many people that are out here speaking about the game where it's like, oh my gosh, Ellie is a lesbian in this game. Uh, um, what the hell is going on and uh, I'm a fan I may not play this game now and stuff oh, like God. that and I'm just like you weren't a fan like if if yeah. the first time you found, found out about yeah. Ellie yeah. being a lesbian was when they showed The Last of Us 2 that's like what you you clearly yeah. didn't play the DLC like yeah, you, you, yeah. Didn't, you weren't a fan <laughs> in the first place you know what yeah. I mean so it's like it's nonsense it's yeah, it's just it's okay just, if I slay it open people's throats, but you're not okay if I being a lesbian. How does that even make sense? <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just uh it's like yeah, it's, what what is the thing that is so far from? I I just don't get it. like that. That's the only thing. I just maybe it's because I'm a minority and yeah, I, I actually sure under, like, yeah, yeah, I understand how other people may feel. Because yeah. they're in that same situation, and when you're yeah. in like that bubble where you're the majority, and left, right, and center is also the majority, and yeah. all of you are in that bubble, like yeah, it's, it's I guess that's just where it's like, okay, I get it. 
I, I'm, I'm, I see both sides. I'm just I like think oppression gives you an understanding. It gives you empathy, yeah. so you can see other people's oppression when you've been through it. Whereas if if everything just goes right in your life and you being you doesn't bring anything on you, you see it and you're like, oh, they're trying to push this agenda again. Yeah, like that's the that's the maddest part. It's always like an agenda. It's just like, why can't you just let people make good games with good stories, <coughs> with black characters, yeah. with gay characters, with other minorities, you know what I mean? But here's what it is. Um, yeah, I... I, I I don't know. I just um, what do you, what do you think is gonna happen with the gaming community? Do you think anything has changed in that aspect? With... They might need more time than society, to be honest, <laughs> because it's deep rooted there, man. It's like, like yeah. they, they it, don't want yeah. to hear it. it. It has to change the society, to be honest. But for me, I don't think we're gonna see that much of a change for at least another hundred years or whatever, because I think it's a generational thing. Mm -hmm. Um, The generation above us and our generation, um, they may be like stuck in their ways and stuck in their beliefs at the moment. And it's one of those things, like if you're a racist, like there's always gonna be little racist tendencies that come out or whatever. So it's down to the generation below us um, to be taught well, and to to learn to to learn more about each other kind of thing in it. Once they're able to grow up and realize that like, racism is one of the most dumbest things <laughs> ever, then we could probably start to see a change. But our generation, I don't think we're gonna see that much to be honest. But we are we are making a foundation, I guess, in it. Um yeah. and that's all we can do to be fair. Mm. I think also like in terms of racism, a lot of it happens behind closed doors. And yeah. we've Gaming, you're already behind closed doors, so mm. that's why they're more praising with it. Well, well, look at that man. Sometimes you can play a game like FIFA, and you got some dumb team name about black people, or yeah, or, yeah, or what's called the players are called Gollywog or whatever. That like. yeah, yeah. Um, I got hold of Negro yeah. last month while playing NBA, so it's definitely not I've actually seen that too much, you know. It's so, way too much. Mm, yeah, it's just the, uh, yeah, it's it's actually crazy. Like, yeah. um, I don't, I don't see. Uh, I don't want to start thinking of other people's point of views, but like, why is that a thing that you would even think? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Like, it's not. Like, why would you think that's funny? Why would you think that's okay? But you know what? It, I think it's because they know it triggers some people some people mm. are able to just like okay whatever but yeah, because yeah, it yeah. triggers some people and they just want a reaction that's it and once they give us once you give them the reaction that they're like yes like they got the intended result and yeah, trolls yeah yeah and it's, it's worked out for them yeah i mean some of them may not have even spoken to a black person before but they just know that it pisses off black people or some people if you write something dumb like that in it so yeah, so yeah they're, they're just looking for a reaction that's fair um yeah i think i think we've said most of what we feel is happening um in this, in this climate and how we feel basically so tell us what you think are we just three naive stupid boys or, <laughs> <laughs> or are we like speaking facts and maybe just getting it right but yeah um i think we'll probably leave it there make sure to subscribe we're going to be putting out um hopefully nearly to daily content especially in the next coming days we're going to do uh we're going to have a top three out tomorrow ams is going to have his one um about the last subject that we had last week and we're actually going to do a live reaction to playstation's reveal this thursday yeah. as well so come yeah. and join us for that. Definitely, yeah. that's going to be a good time. Sorry, go on. Don't, I was going to say last thing, don't just listen to this and then go away thinking, yeah, whatever. If you truly believe that we have a point in here, go and educate yourself yeah. and look into all of this. It's important. Yeah, that's very true. And um, yeah, I uh, we hope to see you there. We'd like to have a conversation if you feel like 
just leave anything in the comments we'll definitely reply to it and yep. uh yeah make sure to like subscribe and we will see you tomorrow take care cool peace